I suppose you'd call that a sterling performance. Yeah, again, you know, everybody wants to win. Um, there's a main priority today that uh, you know we try and make ground on people. I thought the lads stuck at it. I thought it was really, really well adapting themselves really well. First half in possession, I thought they were excellent. Second half out of possession, because Luton really put us on the back foot. They're a good team. They've got a lot of good individual players. And like you say, they can change to various formations and try and hurt you. But the lads stuck at it. It was, um, it was a good win, nevertheless. But if you looked above, then a couple of teams fell, fell back today. Yeah, I think when you when you win yourselves, you know, the gaff has been going on now for a good ten games. You know, we just concentrate on ourselves. You know, every game we take it, it take it on its merit like today, Luton again, good team. Great individual players and you know they'll take points from people and they'll they'll be right up there at come the end of it, I'm sure. But it's important, you know, our lads stuck to the task. I thought they were pushed, you know, we pushed Luton, they pushed it was a good game for the neutral, but uh, to get three points is very pleasing today. And every now and again Christian Burgess sort of nips in with a goal. Every now and again, yeah, I've been putting pressure on the centre halves, you know, um, Certainly with our set plays, you know, we work hard on them and the promise the next half of the season they're going to ship in. So it was a great start to the uh, campaign for the second half of the season. It's been a tough period with a lot of games, so you must be sort of pleased to how you, you're equipping yourselves through those games. Yeah, it's, it's a tough, uh, tough calendar over Christmas, you know, uh, the festive period for our players. It's all about, you know, freshness, um, you know, preparing for games, after games. Again, you know, we'll be straight in tomorrow to prepare for Doncaster going up there on uh, on Thursday. So, you know, we'll keep our heads down and fingers crossed we've taken some good points over the Christmas. So fingers crossed we can continue that on Thursday. And the crowd again stuck behind you today. Outstanding. Uh, I've got to, I've got to com compliment them. You know, we've been to Newport, Yeovil, and obviously just shy of the you know the biggest attendance this season. And to be able to do that over Christmas in this climate, you know, to afford to bring your children and, and your families across and support the lads and ourselves, it, it's just unbelievable. And I can't really commend them enough. They, they know the fantastic fans. They know the, some of the best fans in you know in the country. And I'm sure they'll stick at it and, and get right behind us right right to the end. Might have been more comfortable right at the end, but uh, less said about that, the better. Eh? <laughs> I don't think Pompey ever do it the easy way, do they? I think you know we, we have to work for everything we've got. You know, with sometimes with the biggest show in town, wherever we go, and uh, our lads have got that test every week, and that you know they're standing up to that test. Um, but you know, Gary wants us to keep off, off our seats for the next five minutes. It's sure. Yeah, listen, Gary will take the next one. He's a confident lad. He'll step up and take the next one. Well, you took my next question because I said, might you be looking for another penalty? But uh, penalty <laughs> taker, but obviously not. Now, Cal and Gary's uh, concede. We'll get Jamal Low in now, so just to take pens. But no, the lads are in a good place. They've really worked hard over this, you know, first half of the season. Certainly over the festive period. You know, we were in the sea yesterday preparing. They do everything that they're asked of them in it. You know, they're in a, you know, saying they're in a really good place. Um, you know, the lads who are coming on, the lads who are on, our, on, on the brink of the squad, they're all in a very good place. So, fingers crossed we can continue. <laughs>